Today is October the 15th, 2024, and I have decided to do another back workout. For my first exercise, I am going to be doing deadlifts, and I am warming up here with a bar, going for 10 reps. Man, I can already tell these things don't ever get any easier. For set number two, I am moving up to 135 pounds, shooting for another 10 reps. Here I am thinking that set felt pretty good. Let's go ahead and go up to 225 pounds now and I'm going to shoot for another 10 reps. And to tell you the truth, that set of 10 was nowhere near as easy as I was hoping it would be. I put 315 pounds on here, and in my head I was thinking, go for 10, you might get at least seven. And I was like, hell, I'll be happy with seven. So here I am about to give it the damn gusto, baby. I rolled that shit out to get my damn breath and I was thinking, what the fuck? That shit felt like fucking 500 pounds. <sighs> Woo's right. I've had all that damn shit I want. For exercise number two, I am moving over here to pull-ups, hoping to get at least 10 good reps. That was a pretty good set of pull-ups. For set number two, I am hoping once again to get 10 more good reps. And there's 10 again. Let's see how many I can bust out here on set number three. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Eight reps are all that I had in me for that set. For exercise number three, I am moving over here to lat pull downs and I have a brand new lat pull down bar with three different grip placements. I am going to be using a reverse grip on the closest grip placement here for set number one. I've got 120 pounds on the stack, shooting for 10 reps. And I immediately like how far I can pull this bar down to my chest. This upside down V shape allows me to pull it further than I can the standard lat pull down bar. You can see me getting that full stretch and pulling it as hard as I can yeah. all the way down to my chest. Each and every rep, this bar is feeling great so far. Yeah. And I believe that was 10 reps. For set number two, I'm going to be moving out a bit wider using the middle grip here. I'm still going to be using the reverse grip, but I am dropping the weight down to 110 pounds here on the stack. I am really liking this wider grip as it is pinpointing my lats. I can feel more of a stretch on the way up and then squeezing this wide grip down to my chest is just activating my lats perfectly. <sighs> That was a rough set of 10 right there. For set number three, I am going to be trying out this widest grip here. It is not a reverse grip nor a standard grip as both palms are going to be facing forward. It is super wide. Let's see what this is all about. I thought that middle grip was hitting my lats. This super wide grip, man, this right here will really put that V on you. That was another 10 quality reps.
For exercise number four, I'm moving over here to seated rows, again using the most grip lat pull down bar. And for set number one, I'm going to be using the super wide grip. Man, this super wide grip is lighting my back up. Watch this stretch moving forward here. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, I love this bar. Put me down for 10 more, Smokey. For set number two, I am going to change the grip up a bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and hit the close grip with a reverse grip, keeping the same 170 pounds here on the stack. I love the squeeze that I can get with a close grip. Look what it does to my mid back as I squeeze it back and let it stretch me forward. There's 10 more good ones. For exercise number five, I'm going to do some one arm rows. I've got a 50 pound dumbbell laid out here in front of me. Let's start out with the right hand, shooting for 10 reps. There's 10 on the right. Can I get 10 on the left? There's 10, but they sure weren't easy. So for set number two, I am dropping down to a 40 pound dumbbell, hoping to get 10 more reps on both sides. There's 10 more on the right. 
Can I do it one more time on the left? Give me 10. Oh. And in case you're wondering, this is that versatile exercise bench from Ukea. And this right here has been the most grip lat pull down bar that has close grip, your mid range grip, and your wide grip. It can also be used for tricep push downs. You can flip it upside down over here and do curls with it if you like. And I've also used these lock-in magnetic keepers. These have been the best keepers that I have ever found for deadlifting. You didn't see those weights moving, did you? But you also didn't see me moving that much weight. And speaking of deadlifting, I was using this weightlifting belt right here while deadlifting. I have got multiple weightlifting belts this has the latch right here that secures and locks down. It is the most comfortable belt that I have and the one that I like wearing the most. I will attach all of these to this video. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll talk to each of you once again inside of that next video.